so we shall discuss voice change students so let me let me share my board with you all You take out your uh, copies and pens. Yes, ma'am. Get ready. Get ready. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we we discussed voice change before also. So let me take a few examples. voice change since you are in class 8 so your level will be a little higher than class 7 because in class 7 you did a little bit easier voice changes but for class uh, 8 your voice changes standard of voice change, changes will be a little bit maybe a little bit harder okay so voice change now when we have to do this voice change and in the introductory lesson whether you have remembered or not i shared you one video youtube video with some images and with some examples audio visual examples isn't it so therefore if we start discussing about voice change what should we know in the beginning what are the two types of voices Yes, very good. Active and passive. Active and passive. These are the two voices. So you have got the idea of active and passive voice. Now, when we are discussing about this active and passive voice, we have to also understand that what should be the form of verbs in active voice and what should be the form of verb in passive voice. So therefore, if I write He is, he is writing a letter, he is writing a letter, so he is writing a letter in this sentence, can you tell me whether it is in active voice or in passive voice? Ma'am, active voice, a letter is being written active by voice. him, ma'am, active voice active voice this is an active voice so if it is an active voice we have to change it into passive voice now passive if we want to change yes if we want to change it into passive voice then what should be the answer object a letter is being written by him a letter is being written by him yes very good is being, yes very good is being, yes is being written by him is being written by him. Yes, this should be the answer. Very good. So this is active voice, and this is the answer is in passive voice. This is active voice, and this is a passive voice. So therefore, and can you tell me, students, which what is the uh, form of tense has been used in this sentence? He is writing a letter. Present continuous tense. Present continuous tense. Yes, very good, very good. Present continuous tense. So you have to understand these things, tense, then the form of voice. If you can understand all these things, you can easily change the voices and there will be no errors if you know all these things. So now if I write, he has, he has done the work. He has done the work. Can you tell me? The work has been done by him. Work has been done by him. Yes, very good. The work has been done by him. Okay, the work it was already has here, so the has will come here, and one more extra helping verb we require, and that is been. Yes, very good. The work has been done. Done by him. 
by him. The work has been done by him. Very good. Have all of you have written this? Yes, ma'am. Written? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma Next, you see. He has brought these flowers. So what will be the uh, changed form? This is an active this voice. Flower, of... This flower this has been brought by him. Again, you tell me. This, this flower has been brought by him. Yes, very good. Who has told these flowers have been? Yes, these flowers. Have these been brought flowers. by him. Flowers is plural form. Subject is in plural. These flowers, plural. So these has will become here. Has. Have. Then been. These has will become have because this is plural. Subject is plural. So the verb also will be in plural. If the subject is plural, the verb will be also plural. Okay. For plural subject, plural verb. Remember this plural subject, plural verb. These flowers have been brought by him. By him. These flowers have been brought by him. So this is the answer. This okay. one, this was uh, in active voice, active voice, and this is in passive voice. This is in passive voice. So you have to remember this. He has brought these flowers. Now when we are going to change this, we have to see, we have to look at this subject. We have to look at this subject of the passive voice. Whether the subject is in a singular form or in plural form. If it is in plural form, then we have to use the verb in plural form. And if it is in singular form, then the verb will be in singular form. That has to be seen uh, very carefully. And if you can do it correctly, your whole sentence will be correct because you know the rest of the part, how to change it. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Then next. Next, uh, let me write down. He is washing clothes. She is washing clothes. Can you tell me what will be the answer of this? Clothes are being washed by her. Washing. Very good, very good. By clothes, her. Clothes. Then after are clothes, the verb is will become hard. Yes, yes, are very good. Hard. Washing is there, so we require one being verb. Being. Then the third form of her washed. Yes, being washed. By her. Clothes are being washed by her. Very good. Clothes are being washed by her. Clothes are being washed by her. That's why I gave you here plural. Whether you can identify or not. If you write here is, it will be wrong because clothes is plural. So therefore, clothes are being washed by her. So most of you have uh, uh, told the answer correctly. Now next, uh, let me write down. She sang a beautiful song. She sang a beautiful song. So what will be the answer? A beautiful song was sung by her. A beautiful song was sung by her. Was sung by her. It's very good. A beautiful song was, was sung by her. Sung by her. A beautiful song was sung by her. A beautiful song was sung by her. Why you have used was here? Because it was sung in This one is in past in Okay. Yes. If I write down, she sings. She sings a beautiful song. A beautiful song is. Sung by, by her. Yes, very good. A beautiful 
Only the difference in the word, a beautiful song, then is, 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 is. yes. The difference is here. What is the difference? See, here it was sang that, uh, that means the past form of verb. She sang a beautiful song. Since it is in past indefinite, so we have used here was. But this in this sentence, she sings. So this is present indefinite. Since it is present indefinite, we have to use the present form of verb. A beautiful song is sung, sing, sang, sung, sung by her. Sing, sang, sung. Remember, the, the three forms of verb have, has to be learned well, okay? Then only you can uh, do the voice changes correctly. If you do not know the third form properly, that is V3, or the first form, second form, and third, third form, all the three forms, the conjugation of verbs, yeah, there may be uh, chances of mistakes, okay? okay? So, then let me write down. Why did you why did you break the class? See, this is an inter this is an interrogative sentence. Why did you break the class? Why did you break the class? So have you done this type of sentences, interrogative sentences, voice changes with interrogative sentences? Have you done this? Why did yes. you break the class? By Why who? did you? Okay, tell me. By whom the glass was breaked by you? Uh, break you. What is the third form of break? Break, broke, broken. 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 Break, broke, broken. Now, students. If some of your conception is not clear how to do the interrogative uh, sentences voice changes, that means voice changes with interrogative sentences, you see here, why did you break the glass? See, this did. Why do we require this did verb? Why do we require this did verb as a helping verb? This is, an, this is a helping verb or auxiliary verb. This is an auxiliary verb or helping verb. So if it is a helping verb, why do we require this? Why do we require this? Why, uh, some of you, uh, please mute your uh, audio. Mute your audio. Some sounds are coming. When you answer, then only one mute. So why did you break the glass? Why do we require this deed verb? Why do we require this deed verb? Can you tell me why do we require this deed verb? Did why this did verb uh, has been required here to refer past tense yes and also what but this is an interrogative sentence this is an interrogative sentence an interrogative sentence cannot be uh, that means constructed without the helping verb without the helping verb now if we think this sentence as an assertive sentence if we think this sentence not as an interrogative sentence, as an assertive sentence, then what, which portion we have to uh, look at which portion? These yes. just, you know, this why now, okay? All of you that is not listen to me properly, ignore this why now. This why you ignore now, okay? Let it be like that. Let you it be here only, okay? You Let it be here. Now you see, did you break the glass? This portion. We yes. will look at this portion now. We will look at this portion. Why? Why? Did, uh, why we have ignored? Did you break the glass? Now, if this this is not an interrogative sentence, we don't require this did. So, from where this did come here? You broke from the glass. From the from the main verb break, the did has been extracted. So, deed plus break, deed plus break, it will become what? Broke. Broke, very good. Deed plus break will become broke. So, actually the sentence will become now, you broke the glass. You broke the glass. Okay, listen to me properly. If you have got any confusion, you can ask. You broke the glass. We will change this one into 
passive voice now. You broke the glass. We know that change of passive voice from active voice, you broke the glass will be what? You broke the glass, the glass. The glass was. Was. Broken. Broken, broken by you. By you. Broken by you. The glass was broken by you. This is the answer. But this is not our final answer because our sentence was something different. Why did you break the glass? Interrogative. Why did you break the glass? Now, whenever we write interrogative sentence, whether it may be active voice or it may be passive voice, the helping verb always should go before the subject. Helping verb should always go before the subject. Now, in this passive voice, which is our helping verb, the glass was broken by you, which is the helping verb? Was. Was is the helping verb. Very good. Was is the helping verb. Was is the helping verb here. Was is the helping verb. Therefore, where we shall write down in interrogative sentence. Our sentence was, why did you break the glass? This one we have made, we have made like this for our convenience so that we can do it correctly that's why we have changed a little bit of this sentence this is for our own sake okay this is only for this is like a rough work this is like a rough work remember you broke the glass this is a rough work work so that we can do it correctly so therefore the glass was broken by you so if we bring this was bar before the subject it will be what was the glass broken by glass broken by broken by you broken by you now this is the pattern of interrogative sentence this is the pattern of interrogative sentence now tell me students what we, what have we missed here what why? was there why so now what we have to do for final touch this one we have made the suppose the wooden thing of uh, something uh, of wood now little bit burnishing we have done here now full this and preparation the final touch so when it is final touch we are we are going to give so our answer will be what why was the glass why was the glass broken by you why was the glass broken by you why was the glass broken by you then question mark okay why was the glass broken by you? Then question mark. Okay, so, am I, uh, did you get my points or not? Am I clear to all of you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma am I clear to you? Whenever yes, you are given any yes, whenever yes, you are given any interrogative sentence, why did you break the glass? This is an interrogative sentence, means question. If it is a question, then and then the uh, point will come to our mind that if it is a question, then there must be some helping verb before the subject. So let us see what is the helping verb here. So we have found the helping verb is did. Now we have to place this, take this helping verb to its main verb. We have to place this, uh, that means we have to take this helping verb or move this helping verb to the right place. So if it is not an interrogative sentence, if this sentence is not an interrogative sentence, then we don't require this helping verb before the subject. Am I clear or not? Okay, ma'am, clear. Why, why are we changing this sentence into assertive sentence in the beginning so that we can do it correctly? Okay. So, okay, therefore, if we okay, take this did verb, this did verb will go with break because helping verb will go with main verb. So, you broke the glass. It became you broke the glass. So, you broke the glass. It's a, it's a easy, it's an easy, this is a voice change for you. So you know that how, how it, uh, it has to be changed. The glass was broken by you. Now if the, now we have, we know how to do this. We know well how to do this. So the glass was broken by you. After doing this, we have to again think that this was not an assertive sentence. This was an interrogative sentence. So what we have to do? We have to take the helping verb, helping verb, uh, after from after the subject to before the subject okay from after the subject to before the subject here so it has become what was the glass broken by you but then we have seen that we have missed this why we have missed this why we require this why to place it properly 
so where it will be placed why was why was a glass broken by you why was a glass broken by you am i clear or not yes ma'am yes okay let me see whether i am clear to you or not because i am going to give you one and you will do of your own <laughs> Why have you done this? Why have you done this? Look at the sentence and try to do it properly. Maybe the answer. Why have you done this? Why? Why have this been done by you? By you. Little correction is required. Why have almost correct? Only one point you are missing. Missing means not correct. See, you have. If we change this into assertive sentence, this have will come here. You have done this. If we ignore this, why? If we ignore this why, then the sentence have you done this will become what you have done this, isn't it? Why you have, have you been? You have done this. You have done this. Now, if we change it into passive voice, then what? This. After this, we have to use have or has. Have. have. This is this this is singular or plural? Plural. Plural. Here is this. Here is this. Singular. Singular. So after this, then what we have to use? Has. 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 This has been done by, by you. you. Yes, this has been done by you. Yes, this has been done by you. Then, if you change, it will be what? Why has, has this? Yes. yes. Why has this? Not have. Why has? has why has this been, has been done by you? Done by you. Why has this been done by you? Why this has? That's why I told you to change of your own in the beginning, like a rough work. You have done this. You have done this. So if it is you have done this, you you have done this. You have done this. So if we change it, it will become what? This has will become has. This has been done by you. This has been done by you. So this is the helping verb here. So therefore, why has this been done by you? Why has this been done by you? So this is our final answer, OK? Why has this been done by you? Am I clear or not? Yes, ma'am, clear. Yes, ma'am. OK. OK. Now, can you do it with uh, this and that if any interrogative sentence is given to you? OK, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yes, okay, now we will see. When did he do it? When did he do it? Only instead of why it is when given. When did he do it? Can you tell me the answer? When was it done by him? Very good. When was, was it done by him? Done by him. Can you tell me how did you do the, this? Can you explain? Can we explain the steps? 
it's like a maths only okay can you explain the steps first step we will uh, done it like assertive sentences yes yes that means he do it did he, he do it, it will become he did it because he did. will come here so it will become yes he did it if you change this then it will become it was done by him then was it done by him and before that we have when. to uh, put what when when was it done by him is it clear to every one of you yes ma'am सेंटेंस वॉज वेन डीड ही डू इट ओके वेन डीड ही डू इट क्वेश्चन now when did he do it this is a this is a question word okay this is a wh word this is a question word remember this is a question word that means the word which shows us that this is a question the word which shows us that this is a question this is a question word remember this when is the question word okay wh word so since this is a wh word what we will do we, we will keep it aside we will keep it aside is it clear to all of you or not we will keep this wh word aside okay keep this aside now what is the rest part then what is the rest part did he do it did he do it now what we have to do we don't require since we are ignoring when for a while that's why we require only this part did he do it did he do it did he do it now if it is not a, a question if it is not a question now at present presently we are changing the sentence into assertive sentence what we don't require here did did do it on the but who do we throw away this did or did has some work to do did has from did has got its own home where is its home in this do his home is here actually in the main verb his home is in the main verb okay let us take d it to its uh, home so if we take it to its home so it will become what this do will become what do did done do plus did equals to what did done do plus did do did. plus did equals to did do plus did did equals to Did. did so then what he did do it will become he did it remember the steps look at the steps so well. okay he did it see when did he do it since we cannot change the sentences directly means there may be some mistakes that's why we are following the steps to avoid the mistakes to score the full marks so that we can score full marks we can get full marks we are following these steps am i clear or not yes ma'am am i clear that's why we are following these steps okay so first of all what we will do whatever wh word will be given to us for interrogative sentence we will ignore that word or we will keep this word aside okay for a while let us take the rest part of the sentence did he do it this is the rest part of the sentence did he do it so did he do it now let us change it into assertive sentence so it will become what he did it how to change this into assertive sentence you have done before also interrogative to affirmative negative to affirmative have you done it or not have you done it or not interchange the sentences yes ma'am interchanging the sentences you have done so you know that if we takes the take this did verb to do verb then it will become he did it he did it now you, if you change it will become what it was done by it was done by him it was done by him if we change this see he did it if we change this into passive voice it will become what it was done by him it was done by him it was done by him now let us change this into question 
because in the question we had when now how to make this a question what should we do to make this a question what have uh, what, uh, what is to be done in the beginning helping which is a helping verb yes helping verb will go before the subject what is the helping verb was was eat done by him now it's not completed yet it's yes. not completed yet because in the question what is there when when so we have to put this when also so when was it done, done by, by him. him when was it done by him okay question mark then question mark when was it done by him now is it clear to all of you yes ma'am yes. Uh, who told that uh, there was some confusion now is the confusion clear to you yes ma'am am i being, am i, am I uh, is, uh, clear or not have you got the points or not steps have you understood the steps what are yes, the steps to follow to change the interrogative yes, sentences from active to passive okay so you will practice of your own take some interrogative sentences and practice if you want you can send me uh, your homework take some interrogative sentences like this and send me your homework if you want i shall check okay so uh, here after here after your classes will be as per the uh, class timetable okay